Hello everybody, Jet here, and welcome back to my Byzantian playthrough where we are, well we're doing one of, we are taking on the might of Rome and winning. It's been a bit of an odd war, they have invaded through here which I wasn't expecting. We are nomming them up nicely, we're getting territory for my uh, vassals along here. Uh, next goal, now we've got the Adriatic of the roads, which I do need to, still need to get, sorry, the um, Aegean of the roads, which I do still need to pick up. As I said, we're going to have another little war with Phrygia for this chunk soon. And um, maybe this chunk just to neaten everything up. Um, you know, we want to get all of the Adriatic controlled by myself or my vassals. Well, the Adriatic is going to be the vassal sea. So, you know, Macedon, uh, Talenta, and these guys basically are going to go all along it. Um, all around it and have chunks of Rome and I will take the far side of Rome for myself. Um, I did kind of originally get them as a buffer but I, I kind of like the idea of doing that and having some good solid buffer states but also I, I, I want to keep Rome certainly for myself so this this side of Rome is going to become mine because it's really good and then we'll see where we go after that. Anyway back into this war. We're currently capturing the, um, toe <laughs> and uh, expanding up here into the rest of Italia as much as we can. Don't want that. Ooh, we've got a low food supply. Oh, that's the place I only have one place in. I don't care. Hmm. And we have some disloyal provinces and unsurprisingly a war. First things first. I have been tweaking my uh, people around by changing my laws because I was having problems with the um, populists just being too much in control and not wanting to do anything. I'll click on the right tab eventually. Basically, by having just populists, I was actually beginning to struggle with getting anything done, which was a little annoying, actually. So um, we've been slowly pulling away from our populist focus populist focus things to an extent. I could do a religious reform. Uh, pop conversion speed, civic faction influence, state happiness. Happiness is always good, which does batter that down a bit, but that's fine. And this makes the populist faction less strong again, he says, while well, they're really strong. And let's push the military faction stronger. One day I'll manage to convert to a dictatorship. I think I started converting things beforehand, so. Yeah, we're losing there. Hmm. Wanna keep an eye out, because the Romans have sent a few big nasties at us. We're going to start... I don't necessarily want to sack cities, but we're going to start poking the cities. Let us sail these two units around into uh, Tempsa. Where they can hopefully protect. Interesting. Is Rome at war with that? Oh, here comes the Roman fleet. On, catch them! You can pull into there. We're going to pull up there and use our abilities to catch that port. And I'm actually going to sail up the coast and do some more raiding of the ports. These once we start going to. Twantia. As much as I can. I wish they'd actually sent some support over here, but you know. I am very tempted just to nom them up, but we'll see how it goes. 
I'm going to keep my vassals because I, I generally don't play with vassals. So it's nice having vassals for a change. And making my vassals powerful is also fun and different. So keep. Oh! We do not want to let them get in there. Not ready to peace out yet, but we are getting there. Unsurprisingly, we lost. Because the 90 bloody K stack on you to pull back here. I'm going to recap there and pull up that way. Split across there. You're going to come down and start raiding all their coastline. Carthage is getting worrying as well. So they are going to potentially be a future threat. But we'll see how it goes. There we go. Oh, do I have permission to go into there? Reinforce, 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 reinforce with everything. However, this is going to be beautiful. And Phrygia! Unsurprisingly, but that's fine. We're heading down this way. I was expecting this, to be fair. Recruit that Merc stack as well. You can head this way. We're going to fight this initial war here. Where is the Phrygian war based around Galatia again? So I need to keep that safe, but I'm not overly worried by that war. could just give that to Macedon, which is still very nice. It's a big boost to Macedon, but I would like some territory too. That said, I am getting a bit battered, so it might be time to cut my losses. Surprised I can push down there, but I'm 
No, it's not glad here. Basically, I want to smash into this territory. Okay, you need to come back into a port somewhere. They used to be a Roman vassal. Sorry, I'm not a, a Carthaginian vassal. But I can sue for peace with them separately. <clears throat> that massively helps my uh, Roman war. Job. I don't care about my starving pops. I am really worried about this war, if I'm honest. Um... Honestly, I'm going to keep these guys here. My mercs can keep an eye on here. We've got a couple of armies heading down which can help take out this area. But they've got a lot coming through. Good, you are marching. It's fine. Hit them. A bit surprised they're not landing. So force them to spend some efforts recapping over there. You can pull back into safe territory. You can pull up here because you're definitely not needed down there anymore. Now we've forced these guys out of the wall. March on that. Ooh. Come on, Rome, you want to accept peace. Charge them. Basically, try to fight this one a bit defensively, at least to start with. Completely lost an army there. I mean, we're marching on Rome. We're going to get a lot of nice slaves out of that. They are going to cut in behind us here. Let's get these two up here. Put them then.
tweak this for as much as I can get. Oh, damn it. You know what? Oh, wow. They'll give me most of that. Okay, I will accept that. That is nice. Big chunk of territory for us there. You guys. Are all going to get very nommed up. I did gain some aggressive expansion there. We now have a governor here. Sounds nice, the Macedon. As I said, so the Aegean, the Adriatic is going to become my sort of vassal port. Uh, that means we control the Adriatic effectively now, which is quite nice. No, 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 stop. All of you guys can head here. Fleet is going to head there. Where you guys will board it. And there is some nice territory here, so... territory we're gonna come around here and do a naval invasion from behind as soon as they're locked in no it's fine pull back I want you to pull up there actually next Take there. We were on the borders of Rome, though, so we have, while Rome is still mighty, we have certainly weakened her. Oh, wow, massively, actually. And Macedon is probably much stronger now. As I said, so we're, that'll be Macedon, then we'll give these guys a bit there, these guys a bit there, and then I will potentially take the rest. So we might leave Rome in the north. What's, you know, Rome in the north, assuming they don't implode? No, somebody died. You need to go into a port before I can use you again. I'm getting smashed up there, but they're not taking the main place they were aiming for, so... Throw both forces into there for now. I want to make sure I win, obviously. So keeping that of um, Galatia is is the key to winning here. Smash them there. God damn it, my armies are running out of food. No, they're not. Oh, my mercs are out of food. Okay. Fine, we can spread things a little, spread the love a little there. Up my siege ability a bit. Get get the trading going. Why are you not smashing them? I 
I know these guys are battered, battered, but they are also veterans of a tough campaign. Um, they are being moved from one front directly to another with no respite. Which is quite brutal, but... And in fact, this fleet, even. Uh, I don't have a fast m move option. But they're going to get in there, and then we're going to have a massive naval invasion from behind. I need to go up and stop them. This large force is basically just roving my borders up here, keeping them penned in, keeping the enemies pen, my enemies penned in. I need a fortification there. Right, as we've not done it for a while, it's a colonization run. Well. Getting there. No, neither mind. Those poor soldiers. up there but we'll see how it goes we are so far winning this war actually so um, Rhodes is the main place I want to be taking yeah we got them in in time we're of course gonna hold the Olympics see, this is what's worrying they've got lots of other forces coming down this way but They may just beat us by sheer numbers, but we will make them pay for this path. I wasn't really planning on this war, the Roman war just dragged on a little bit. I was expecting it, I just wasn't planning on it. Oh, did I lose? God damn! So I don't need to necessarily win this war. I just need to drive it into a st potential stalemate. I mean, Phrygia has a hell of a lot of legion still and a hell of a lot of manpower still but they've got more powerful if anything annoyingly keep smashy smashy there right one of you is landing here Mass naval invasion there. Okay. Right, we're going to start heading down this way. Roads fell pretty much instantly. What? Wow, that was good. Mm. 
You guys can all march on there to smash them out. Because that is my citadel, which means I gain all the bonuses. Do you need to pay attention to that 50k stack, but... Oh, it was my citadel. Everything in there. Massive battle here happening here right now. Oh god, this is not good. This is bad. I need reinforcements and you guys need to try and get into here as well. Oh wow. I think basically most of our armies are currently in this battle or have been fighting in this region recently. Come on, come on, get in. No, I don't want to get caught there. More reinforcements. We're gonna win this one. If I win this one, I can turn and hit there. Well, they'll hit me here again, but it's fine. Wow. They've smashed me. God damn. No, we've won there. Oh, if these guys get in, it's all about these guys getting in in time. Oh, wow. This battle has been brutal, but my heavy infantry here is holding the day. Um, I, I just have more troops now because I have been battering them. 60,000 to 70,000, that's not a good... Basically. Watch up into there. Yeah, yeah, slowly cutting along here. So long as they don't take Galatia. I don't really care, overly. No, I want you to stay down here. March a few guys down towards these mountains. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, another big battle here then. One we may not win, actually. Let's start numbing their ports, however. Few reinforcements coming in here, which should help. So we can go along here and normal their ports up as well, which will help us. Well, that's never good.
These places will get me all of that. Hit them in the mountains. Ooh, I'm actually likely to win there. Ooh. Gentle, please. We're getting there with this one again. It was brutal to start with. I mean, it's still been a fairly brutal fight, but... Ah, they had more reinforcements there. I'm going to lose that one. Can't win them all, annoyingly. You were good and from a good family, so that was good. Extra manpower also means better manpower recovery. Close one though. There we go. Charge in and hit them. This is a brutal part of the world to be fighting in, to be fair. Yes, up my diplomatic reputation a bit. I did see them, I don't really care. I'm having too much fun capturing all their ports. As soon as their falls, I'm going to start trying to peace out, to be fair. So we'll have the Adriatic, the, not the Adriatic, the Aegean, which is one of, one of my major wants. And then we'll think about what we're doing next. going. Until they're locked in. Now! We've got so many reinforcements coming in here. Still going to be another big old battle, but we've definitely got the upper hand this time. I said they've got another bloody 50k stack coming in. And we still got the upper hand. Oh, now they're coming in in dribs and drabs. Oh, and they're locked in, so that's a couple of really strong battles there to really push them back. Needless to say, I personally think that went quite well.
I love stealing all their thoughts. It makes things fun. I've still not captured that. Beautiful! Hitting them again. You're gonna come back up here. There's about to fall. Put the 70k stack in there. There we go. Ooh, this isn't going to be as easy as I'd hoped. No, we've got it. Especially if we got there, we'll be able to redirect them in. Uh, quite a nice chunk of capture there. Do I need to end it? No. Not just yet. He says when they're about to take some gladiator. No, I'm going to end this now because they are beginning to get the war goal. And I am. Um, I could do with replenishing. I like the idea of the coastal settlements. There we go. Roads will be left alone. And yeah, that is another big chunk taken. A lot of my old territory, which I lost, has been uh, restored. Well, not lost. Um... A lot of messy territory from over here has been restored, which is good. Sounds daft. I'm actually going to keep the mass fortifications for the time being because they really were helpful in that war. Goodbye, mercenaries. <laughs> Just keep throwing these guys all over the place in there while we build up. Again, two wars back to back, which really isn't the best way of fighting these things. I think this time I need to kind of wait. However, Rome is probably the bigger threat. Manpower recovery, please. Experience is always good. But no, manpower recovery speed is always good. Um, Rome, as I said, is probably the bigger threat only because this territory is further away, which is why it would have potentially been better to give all that to Macedon, but I wanted some for myself. I'm, you know what? I, I said all this. I don't think I've got time to integrate them even if I wanted to. Yeah. Because I'm nearly at the end of the game now. I am happy with this, considering we started with this tiny little nation here, this tiny little city. Eh. 
Yeah, we started with his tiny city here. Um, which is now 142. One day it will be great. Where is Rome? Anyway, all of those are things to sort out for next time, guys. So, the might of Byzantium is getting bigger. As always, thank you very much for watching, guys. I do hope you have been enjoying this. Please do feel free to pop any comments in the comment section or jump over to my Discord and say hi. There is a link to my Discord in the comments and the description, as well as links to my Twitter, my Patreon, and my affiliation with Overclockers and Humble Bundle Games. So, please check them out. As always, thank you for watching.